Hello everybody! In today's video, we are going to review chapter 2, quadratic functions and equations. And I choose for this few questions from your worksheet, quadratic functions and equations. So let's see. Question number one. Use the vertex form to write the equation of the parabola. So it is given the graph of the parabola from here. Let's remember, first of all, that the vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. From where h, k, they represent the coordinates for the vertex. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the graph to find the h and k coordinates of the vertex. The vertex is the lowest point in the graph. So, parabola has a minimum, the x-coordinate negative 2, and the y-coordinate it is 2. So, h is negative 2, and k it is 2. I'm going to substitute. I will get that y equals a times x negative. Negative, it means plus 2 square, plus 2 instead of k, it will be plus 2. So, this is going to be the vertex form. Let's try, let's check the multiple choices. In A and B, we have minus 2, so these two, they cannot be the answer. In C and D, in both of them, we have plus 2 and we have plus 2. So here we have coefficient 3, here is the coefficient 1. So only the vertex, it will not be enough to say this graph belongs to which one of the functions. That's why I choose to find one more point, And the point that I can easily find, it's the y-intercept. So I'm going to find the y-intercept in C and in D. We know that y-intercept, it's the point where graph intersects the y-axis and it has the symbol 0y in which 0 is for x. So I'm going to substitute x0 in both of these equations. So I put here 0, it will be y equals 3 times 2 squared, it is 4, plus 2. And this equals 3 times 4, 12 plus 2, it is 14. In the second equation, it will be y equals 0 plus 2, 2 squared, 4, plus 2 equals to 6. And now I go back and check in the graph. As you can see, the parabola does not intersect the y-axis in, in y equals 6. y equals 6 is here. And the graph does not pass through this point. It's above a little bit more, so it will be 14. So the, the graph will correspond, the correct answer, it will be C. Suppose a parabola has the vertex. So vertex coordinates negative 8, negative 7, in which negative 8, it's the h, and negative 7, it's the k. And also passes through the point, so point coordinates negative 7, negative 4, uh, negative 4 in which negative 7, it's the x, and negative 4, it's the y coordinate. Write the equation of the parabola in vertex form. So the vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. The two points given, I will take them and substitute in the equation. So, a, we don't know it. The y, let's start from left to right. The y, it's negative 4, equals, a is not given, so keep it a. x is negative 7 minus the h is negative 8 square the k is negative 7. So in this way we obtained an equation with variable a we solve for a to get the coefficient. So let's put it simplest form. Negative 4 equals a times negative negative it's positive. So negative 7 plus 8 it's 1, square it is 1, and 1 times 8 is 8, minus 7, 
solve for a, we got that a equals negative 4 plus 7, it is 3. So we can write that y equals 3 times x plus 8 square and minus 7. This is the parabola and the correct answer is, let's see, here it cannot be. Here we have minus 8, no? So we have 3x plus 8. This is the correct answer. Suppose parabola has axis of symmetry at x equals 8 and maximum height of 1. So x equals to 8 and the maximum height, that one is the y, equals to 1 and also passes through the point 9, negative 1. So this is the x, this is the y, the point and remember that Vertex has coordinates hk in which h, the x coordinate of the vertex, it's the same with the axis of the symmetry. So if they give me axis of symmetry x equals 8, this 8 also represents the x coordinate of the vertex. And the maximum height, 1, it will be the k. So the vertex has coordinates and we have the point. 9, negative 1. As long they tell us that parabola has a maximum, from here we understand that the A coefficient, it is less than 0, and parabola opens downward. So this is the vertex. Then the A, write the equation of parabola in vertex form. We will put the vertex form, y equals A times x minus h square plus k. The vertex and the point, we will substitute them. So from left to right, y, it is negative 1. Equals a times x, it is 9. Minus h, it is 8. Square plus k, it is 1. Get its simplest form, it will be negative 1 equals 9 minus 8, it's 1, square 1. So 1 times a, it's a plus 1. Solve for a, it will be a equals to negative 2. As we said in here, as long it is given maximum, parabola opens downward and the coefficient is negative. Then we can write y equals substitute in the vertex form a negative 2 times x minus h, the h we said it's 8, square plus k, it will be plus 1. So this is the correct answer. And c, d, we don't have here, we have 2, but no negative 2, so these two they cannot be. Then the correct answer it will be a. Let's try more. The function h is a quadratic function whose graph is translate 7 units left and 9 units up of the parent function f of x equals x squared. Remember, as we said in class, when we have to work with transformations, put the x in brackets first. Whatever happens for x, the transformation is horizontal, and outside the x is vertical for y. And they tell us, translate 7 units to the left, right left, the transformation is horizontal, so it will happen for x. So here it will be x. If it is 7 units left, we'll do plus 7 all square. And 9 units up, it will be outside plus 9. And this is the h of x. And the correct answer is, let's say, where do we have plus 7 plus 9? We have it into here and we have it into here. What is the equation in vertex form? And in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is the standard form. Now, 
the vertex form is correct. We got it in C and D. We have to see what's the standard form. So, uh, simplify the binomial square, which means binomial square, remember, three terms in the product. The square, give it to the first term and the last term, it will be x squared. 7 squared, it is 49. And in the middle, multiply them all. 2 times 7, 14 times x, it's 14x plus and plus 9. Simplify, it will be x squared plus 14x plus 49 plus 9, it is 58. So we see it here. Then the correct answer, it will be C. What steps transforms the graph into? So let's put it separate. Y equals x squared. And y equals negative x plus 3 squared plus 5. So the coefficient for x squared, it was positive 1. Now became factor negative 1. Remember that factor negative 1 represents reflection transformation. The negative, it's from outside the x, which means it's 4y, so it, it's negative y, which means that it's a reflection across the x-axis. Plus 3, 4x, the transformation, it's a translation. 3 units to the left. And plus 5, it's a translation. 5 units up. So let's see. Translate A, B, it cannot be. Reflect across x-axis. Translate 3 units to the left. And up 5 units, so C, it's the correct answer. Identify vertex, axis of symmetry, for Y equals 2, X plus 2, square, minus 4. This is the vertex form, I'm going to write it down, Y equals A times, X minus H, square, plus k. From here, vertex has coordinates h, k. In our case, the h, remember that in the rule it's minus h, so don't get confused between the plus 2 and negative 2. The best that you can do, take the x plus 2, separate, make it equals to 0, and solve for x. So x equals negative 2. The negative 2 will represent the h. Minus 4, it is the k. So the vertex has coordinates, negative 2, negative 4. And the axis of the symmetry, x equals the x coordinate of the vertex, which is negative 2. So this is the correct answer. Let's see where do we have it. Negative 2, negative 4. Here, a now. B now, negative 2, negative 4, axis of symmetry x equals negative 2. So the correct answer it is C. What is the equation in standard form of a parabola that, well, uh, that models the values in the table? You can answer this question using the calculator. Go to start, copy, put the values x and y, put them in the table in the calculator and go to calculations. But let's do it algebraically. The standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus e. So to know which answer it is correct, we have to find the a, b, c coefficients. We have three variables that we will need a system with three equations to solve it for A and B and C. Let's see. From the table, three points are given. So I will take the three points one by one and substitute into X and Y 
in the standard form. The first point, negative 2, negative 7, x and y. So instead of y, I put negative 7 equals 4x, the x is negative 2. And negative 2 squared, it is 4. Times a, it will be 4a. x, negative 2 times b, it will be minus 2b plus c. I'm done with the first point. I will take the second point. y, it is 3, so I put 3 equals. The x is 0, so this point is the y-intercept. So if we put 0 into here, here, these two terms, they will be up. So it will be 3 equals to c. So from here, from the second point, we found c equals 3. And I take the last point and put it into, so y is negative 73 equals. The x here, it is 4. So 4 squared, 16 times a, 16a. 4 times b plus 4b plus c. The c value, I will substitute it now in these two equations because we got it, we found it. So it will be negative 7 equals 4a minus 2b plus 3. And in the last one, negative 73 equals 16a plus 4b plus 3. Get both of the equations in simplest form. So remove the 3 on the other side, minus 3 and minus 3. From the first equation, we get 4a minus 2b. equals negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. 16a plus 4b equals negative 73 minus 3, minus 3 is negative 76. Get the equations into the simplest form. So the first one we can simplify by 2. And the second one, we can simplify by 4. Yes. So it will be 4 over 2, 2a, minus 2 over 2, it will be minus b, equals negative 10 divided 2, it's a negative 5. I go down, 16 over 4, it's 4a. 4. A. four to 4 each one, so plus b equals negative 7 divided 4, it is 1, 36 over 4, it is 9. To solve the system, we will use the elimination method. We see that b has coefficient here, negative 1, 1, so we can eliminate. Do plus between both. So 2a plus 4a, 6a. Negative b plus b0 equals negative 5 minus 19 is negative 24 over 6, a equals to negative 4. So we found a. Now it is left to find the b. We substitute in one of the equations. May I will choose the second one. So it will be 4 times a, where a is negative 4 plus b equals to negative 19. Here, negative 16 plus b equals negative 19. Plus 16, it will be b equals to negative 3. So we found a negative 4, b negative 3, and c it is 3. Then I will substitute into the standard form. So it will be y equals a, we found it negative 4, x squared. b, we found it negative 3, so minus 3x. And c, it is 3, so plus 3. And the correct answer, it will be c.
what is the equation in standard form. So we will do it in the same way. The points x, y, x, y, x, y, we will substitute them into y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is the standard form of parabola. So I take the first point, the y is 18, equals the x is negative 2, square for a. x, negative 2 times b, minus 2b, plus c. I'm done with the first point. The second point is the y-intercept, so x is 0. It will be, uh, it will be 4 equals to c. And the last point, 24 for y equals a is 4, so 4 squared 16a plus 4 times b, 4b plus c. So this is the system. We got in the second equation, c, c is 4, so we will substitute into the first and last equation. It will be 18 equals 4a minus 2b plus 4. Into the last one, 24 equals 16a plus 4b. The c we said is 4, so plus 4. Get both of the equations in, equations in the simplest form, so do minus 4. And minus 4. From the first equation, we found 4a minus 2b equals 18 minus 4, it's 14. Second equation, 16a plus 4b equals 24 minus 4, it is 20. Get each one of the equations in the simplest form. The first one we can simplify by 2. And the second one, the common factor 4, so we can simplify by 4. It will be 2a minus b equals to 7. And 4a plus b equals to 5. Use elimination method, so plus between all of them. 2 plus 4, 6a, negative b plus b out equals 7 plus 5 is 12. So from here, a equals to 2. We found a, we found c, it is left to find the b. So we substitute a in one of the two equations. I will do it into here. It will be 4 times a is 2 plus b equals to 5. So 8 plus b equals to 5. Minus 8 on both of the sides, it will be b equals to negative 3. The a, b, c we found, we will move them into the standard form, and it will be y equals a, we found it 2, so 2x squared. B is negative 3, so we'll put it here. It will be negative 3x. And C, we found it 4, so plus C, it will be plus 4. And let's see, the correct answer, it will be B. What are vertex and axis of symmetry? So they give us y equals negative 2x squared plus 8x minus 20. This is the standard form, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus e. The vertex has coordinates x, y. So to find the x, the x-coordinate of the vertex, remember, is negative b over 2a, where a, b, they are the coefficients for x squared and x. So it will be negative b, it's the coefficient of x, which in our case it's 8, over 2 times 
a it's the coefficient of x square which is negative 2 so it will be negative 8 over negative 4 which equals to 2 so the x coordinate of the vertex it is 2 now we have to find the y the y we get it from the equation given it will be y equals negative 2 times the x we found it 2 so 2 squared plus 8 times x which is 2 minus 20 equals we'll get it into the simplest form so 2 square 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 plus 8 times 2 16 minus 20 equals negative 8 plus 16 8 minus 20 is negative 12 so the vertex has coordinates 2 negative 12 and the axis of the symmetry it's the x coordinate of the vertex which means x equals 2 2 this is the axis of symmetry and the correct answer is b 2 negative 12 and the axis of symmetry what is the maximum or minimum value of the function and what is the range so it is given y equals 2x squared plus 28x minus 8. The a coefficient, it is 2, it is greater than 0, which means that parabola opens upward. The lowest point in the graph, it's the vertex. So the parabola opens upward. This is lowest point in the graph, which means parabola has a minimum. Now, all we have to do is to find the minimum value. The minimum value, it is given by the y coordinate. So the x equals negative b over 2a and equals negative b, as we said, is the coefficient of x, which is 28 over 2 times the a, it's the coefficient of x squared, which is 2, and equals 28, negative 28 to 4, it's a negative 7. So we got the x, now we look for y. y equals, to find the y, we go back in the equation, and instead of this x, we will put the x value we found. So it will be 2 times negative 7 squared plus 28, times negative 7 minus 8 and it will be equal to negative 106. So the vertex has coordinates negative 7, negative 106 and the minimum it is given by y equals negative 106. And as we said, let's have a look. We don't have to graph this. We just catch it. So as long as the a coefficient it is positive, parabola opens upward. And this point, the lowest point in the graph is the vertex. Negative 7, negative 106 coordinates. And the range, remember range is for the y values. The lowest y value, it is negative 106. And the graph opens upward, so greater the range, it will be y greater than or equals negative 106. And the correct answer is, I think, C. let's check, minimum value is and the range is. Yes, correct answer, it is C. What is the vertex of the equation? y equals x squared minus 2x plus 8. So the vertex xy coordinates in which x equals negative b over 2a and equals negative 
the b coefficient of x, which is negative 2, over 2 times the a, it's the coefficient x squared, which is 1. So negative 2 to negative 2, 2 divided by 2, it is 1. So the x coordinate equals to 1. To find the y, we substitute in the given equation for x, we will put the value we found. So 1 square 1 minus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 8 equals negative 1 plus 8 is 7. So the vertex has coordinates 1, 7. And the vertex form we know is y equals a times x minus h square plus k. The a it is 1. So all we have to do now is to take the a and the vertex and substitute. This is 1. The h, we found it 1. The k, we found it 7. So it will be y equals x minus 1 square plus 7. And the correct answer is c. What is the expression in the factored form? So we have 2x squared plus 16x plus 30 equals. First of all, look for the common factor between the three terms. And the common factor in our case, it is 2 times x squared plus 8x plus 15. Go to the last term, the free term, and think about two numbers when you multiply 15, and when you add their sum, it is 8, and that ones are 3 and 5. 3 times 5, 15, 3 plus 5, 8, so it will be equals to x plus 3 times x plus 5. The factor it form, and the correct answer is d. Negative 4x squared plus 8x plus 32. First of all, the common factor between the three terms, which is negative 4, times x squared minus 2x and minus 8. Two numbers, when we multiply their product negative 8 and when we add is negative 2. And these are negative 4. And 2. So negative 4 to negative 8, we add negative 2. So it will be negative 4, x minus 4, times x plus 2. And the correct answer is a. x squared minus 64. Two terms, this is a binomial. The first term, it's the perfect square of x. And the second term, it's the perfect square of 8. So here we are going to use the difference between the perfect squares. a square minus b square equals a minus b times a plus b. The a term in our case is x, so it will be x minus 8 times x plus 8. So the A, it is X, and the B, it is 8. The figure shows a container that is a square prism. So all of it, the square prism, the base, it's a square. With base area B and the hollow section shaded region, so this one, that is a square prism with base area B. So also the base here, it is a square. If the height H of both prism is the same, write the expression to represent the volume of the container. So the container, it's between these two, between here, in between. So to find this volume, we have to find the volume of the big, big prism and minus the volume of this hole. 
So I will take them one by one separate. Remember that the volume of a prism, it is area base times the height. The base for both of them, it is a square. So it will be volume equals area square, it is side square times height. So I'm going to use this formula to calculate the volume for both of the both of the um, of the figures. I will take the first one from outside, the big one. It will be the volume equals the side length. It is given here b. So side square it will be b square times the height. I will take the container inside. So V equals the whole. The length side here, it is B small. So side square, it will be B square times H. To find between them, I will do minus between. So to find the volume container, it will be the big volume, the big prism, B square times H minus the whole volume whole, b squared times h. We can factor it, the common factor it is h, so we will write h times b squared minus b small squared. And here we have the difference between the perfect squares, we can factor it, h times capital B minus b times capital B plus b. And the correct answer is D. Using factoring, what's the solution of the quadratic equation? So we have to solve the equation by factoring. But first of all, we see 2, 14, 16. So between the terms, common factor 2, we will get it into simplest form and simplify by 2. will become x squared equals... 14 divided to it is 7x plus 60 divided to it is 30. That we can solve, we need the standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So we will take the two terms and move them on the other side. We'll become x squared minus 7x minus 30 equals to 0. Now think about two numbers when we multiply their product negative 30 and when we add this negative 7 and these are negative 10 and 3. We will factor it x minus 10 times x plus 3 equals to 0. Product is 0 if at least one of the factors is 0. So maybe x minus 10 is 0 or x plus 3 it is 0. From the first one, x is 10, and from the second, x equals to negative 3. So these are the roots, the solutions of the equations, and this is 10, negative 3. The answer, the correct answer, it is C. The approximate path of the projectile launched from 70 meters above the ground is given by f of x. Equals negative 5x squared plus 25x plus 70. In which f of x, it's the height. So f, it is height. And x, it's the time in seconds. Use this information to answer the question. A, what is the factored form of this equation? So we have to factor it. So let's see first of all, negative 5, 25, 70. So the common factor, negative 5, we can write f of x equals negative 5 x squared minus from 25, 5 outside, so minus 5x and minus 70 divided 5, it's 14. We can factor more, negative 7, 2, when we multiply negative 14 and when we add this negative 5, so it will be f of x 
equals negative 5 times x minus 7 times x plus 2. So this is the factored form. We are done with question A. Now we go to B. How long will it take the projectile to reach the ground? When the projectile will reach the ground, then the height it will be zero. On the ground, the height is zero. The height is zero. The height is represented by f of x. So instead of f of x, we will put zero, and it will be negative five x minus seven times x plus two equals to zero. Solve the equation for x. So x minus seven equals zero, or x plus two equals to zero. From the first one, x is seven, and from the second one, x equals to negative two. They asked us how long, so we, we solve the equation for how long for x, where x represents the second time. We got two solutions, and look at them. Here, seven seconds, and here, negative two seconds, which is impossible. So this is not solution for us. The correct answer, it is seven seconds. Time, it cannot be negative. So the time, it will be seven seconds. We go to question C. After how many seconds will the projectile return to its original launch height? So I'm going to clean here that we have enough space. And the original height, the original height of the projectile, it is when time is zero. So x equals zero. So let's see, if x equals zero, it will be the height f of zero equals substitute x zero into the equation. So it will be 70 meters above the above the ground yes so this represents the original height the projectile will return to each original height when f of x it will be equals to 70. so now we have to solve this equation so instead of f of x here we will put the 70 it will be negative 5x squared plus 25x plus 70, it will be equals to 70. Simplify, it will be negative 5x squared plus 25x equals to 0. So the common factor, we use the factoring, is negative 5x, x minus 5 equals to 0. And from here, x is 0. And from second factor, x equals 5. We cannot take 0. 0 is the original height, which is 70. And for us is how many seconds will the projectile return to the original height? So this, it will be 5 seconds. What are the intervals? or interval on which the function is positive. So then, to get the positive, in, uh, in the interval in which the function is positive, function positive, it's the y values positive. In which intervals for x, the y is positive. So we can sketch this graph to imagine the situation. So it is y equals x squared minus 2x and minus 48. First of all, find the x-intercepts. So x squared minus 2x minus 48 equals to 0. Negative 48 will factor it in negative 8 times 6 when we multiply negative 48. And when we add this negative 2, so it will be x minus 8 times x plus 6 equals to 0. From the first one, x is 8. And second factor, x equals negative 6. So these two are the x-intercepts. 
Now let's find the y-intercept that we can sketch the graph. So 0 for x, it will be y equals negative 48. The a coefficient, the coefficient of the x squared, it is 1, which is greater than 0. Then parabola opens upwards. So let's see. The x-intercepts 8, negative 6. So let's see. Here, let's say it's negative 6, and this is the 8. The y-intercept, let's say here, negative 48. So the graph will be something like this. And here it's axis. Then the question was again, the intervals for x in which the function it is positive. Function positive, it means y values positive. These are y values positive. So in this part of the graph, from left to right, the intervals they will be from negative infinity to negative 6. So x, it will be less than negative 6. And from 8 into the positive infinity, which means x greater than 8. And the correct answer, it will be A, but here it's a mistake. It should be given negative 6, not 6. x squared plus 18x plus 81 equals to 25. That we can solve the equation, it has to be in standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, and we don't have 0, so we'll make it minus 24 on both of the sides. It will be x squared plus 18x plus 56, it's a 24, no, equals 25, wait a second. Here is equals 25. So minus 25, so plus 56, equals to 0. Factor the 56 into two numbers. When we multiply their product 56, and when we add it will be 18. And these ones are 14 and 4. So it will be x plus 14 times x plus 4 equals to 0. From the first one, x is negative 14. And from the second factor, x equals to negative 4. So the correct answer is B. Rewrite the equation in vertex form. When the standard form is given to write in, in vertex form, which is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, Remember, we have to use completing the square. So we have y equals 3 over 5 x squared plus 30x plus 382. So first of all, that we can complete the square, we need the a coefficient equals 1. And in our case, it's 3 to 5. So to make it 1, everything we will do times the reciprocal of 3 to 5, which is 5 over 3. So from left to right, each term, I will do it times 5 over 3. So it will be y, 5 over 3, y equals, this one out, x squared plus 30 divided 3 is 10 times 5, 50x plus, we cannot simplify by 3, we will do times 5 over 3, which is 1,910 over 3. So the first step in completing the square, get the a coefficient equals 1. In the second step, collect the x terms and the free term move it on the other side. So keep together only the x terms. So this one, I will move it on the other side. It will be 5 over 3y minus 1,910 over 3 equals x squared plus 50x. And now we complete the square plus the b coefficient, 
which is in our case 50, over 2, and all of it square it, which equals 25 square. This is the term I'm going to complete on both of the sides, because whatever we do on side, we do it on the other side to balance the equation. From left to right, we'll get the simplest form. It will be 5 over 3y Now, I will simplify this two, and it will be negative 35 to 3 equals, from the first step and last step, here this is trinomial, it will be x plus 25 squared. So we got the perfect square. Now we'll solve it for y. We have to make it y equals again. So plus 35 over 3. And we need y only, so we'll do everything times the reciprocal of 5 to 3, which is 3 to 5. So it will be here y equals 3 over 5 x plus 25 squared plus 3 goes with 3, 35 to 5, it is 7. So this is the vertex form. So let's see which answer is correct. It's here. 3 over 5, 25, the vertex is the only one that gives us we have it also here. So let's check. The vertex negative 27 to 5. This is the correct answer, A. What is the number of real solution? Remember that the number of real solution, it is given by the discriminant delta, which is equals B squared minus 4AC. If delta greater than zero, then the equation has two different real solutions. If delta equals to zero, then the equation has one repeated real solution. And if delta it is less than zero, the equation has two different complex solutions. So to answer the question, we have to calculate delta. In our equation, a is negative 1, b is the coefficient of x, which is 9, and c is the free term, which is 7. So delta equals b squared, it's the 9 squared, which is 81. Negative 4 times negative 1a, it will be 4. 4 times 7 plus 28. So delta, it will be greater than zero. Then the equation has two different real solutions. So then the correct answer, it is C. It x squared minus 11x equals to negative 3. To calculate delta, we need the standard form, which is equals to zero. So plus 3 on both of the sides. It will be 8x squared minus 11x and plus 3 equals to 0. Then delta equals b squared is negative 11 squared, which is 121. Minus 4 times a times c. And it will be 121 minus 4 times 3, 12. 12 times 8, it's 96. And this one, it is greater than zero, which means two real solutions. Delta greater than zero, two real solutions. During 
a manufacturing process, a metal part in a machine is exposed to varying temperature conditions. The manufacturers of the machine recommends that the temperature of the machine part remain the temperature below the 132 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature T in degrees Fahrenheit, X minutes after the machine is put it in the operation, it's given by T equals negative 0 0.005 X squared plus 0 0.45 X plus 125. Will this temperature of the part ever reach or exceed 132 degrees Fahrenheit? And use discriminant to answer the question. So the temperature it is given here, 132 Fahrenheit. So all we have to do instead of T, to substitute with 132. Put the equation in standard form, so solve, make it equals to zero. It will be negative 0.005 x squared plus 0.45 x minus 7 equals to 0. Find the delta, which is b squared, 0.45 squared minus 4 times a, negative 0.0. 0, 0.005 times C, which is negative 7, and we will find delta equals 0 0.0625, which is greater than 0, then there it is possible. The answer it is B. A landscaper is designing a flower garden in the shape of a trapezoid. She wants to sh she wants the shorter base to be three yards greater than the height and the longer base to be seven yards greater than the height. She wants the area to be 155 uh, square yards. The situation is modeled by the equation h squared plus. 5h equals to 155. Use quadratic formula to find the height of this area. So then to use the quadratic formula, we need to make it equals to 0. So it will be h squared plus 5h minus 155 equals to 0. Remember that quadratic formula h or I put it here, x1, 2, it will be negative b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac all over 2a. In our case, a, the coefficient of h square, it is 1. b, it's the coefficient of h, which is 5. And c, it's the free term, which is negative 155. So it will be height equals we substitute negative b, it's negative 5, plus or minus square root, b square, it is 5 square, which is 25, minus 4 times 1, 4 times c is negative 155, and all over 2a, 2 times 1 is 2. Get it into simplest form, we will find that h equals negative 5 minus the radical in simplest form, it will be 25.4 over 2. And this, it will be less than 0 and height, it cannot be negative. So this one, it cannot be our answer. And h2 equals negative 5 plus 25 over 4 over 2, which equals 10.2. So the height, it will be this one, because it's positive. This is the correct answer, and this is the B. It will be 10.2 yards.
use substitution to solve the linear quadratic system. So the system it is given y equals y equals. So we know the y. When we see y equals, it means that the y it is this expression. It is given. So instead of y in the first equation or in the second, we can substitute x plus 5. And I put it, I will put it in the first one. So it will be x plus 5 equals x squared plus 7x plus 13. Put the equation in standard form, so minus x and minus 5. It will be x squared plus 6x plus 13 minus 5, it is 8, equals to 0. Factor the 4, the 8, in 4 and 2, 4 times 2, 8, and when we add it, 6. So it will be x plus 4. I will write it under that I have enough space. So I will write here x plus 4 times x plus 2 equals to 0. From the first one, x is negative 4. And from the second, x equals to negative 2. As long as we found two different solutions for x, then we are going to find two different solutions for y. So I take the first one. x equals negative 4 and x equals to negative 2. Then y equals, to get the y, we can use the first or the second equation. Easier, it's the second one. So we say y equals x plus 5. The x is negative 4. Plus 5, it will be 1. And here y equals negative 2. So negative 2 plus 5, it will be 3. So from the first one, solution is negative 4, 1. And negative 2, 3. And the correct answer is A. Again, the, x, the y is given, y equals y equals, so these two expressions, they are equivalent. We will put negative x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals to negative x minus 2. So plus x plus 2 on both of the sides, it will be negative x squared, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3x, and 2 plus 2, it's a positive 4 equals to 0. Simplify everything by negative 1. So it will be x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals to 0. Factor the negative 4 into 4 and negative 1. When we multiply, is negative 4. And when we add their sum is 3. So it will be x plus 4. times x minus 1 equals to 0. From the first one, x equals negative 4, and from the second one, x equals to 1. To find the y, I will use the second equation, negative x minus 2. So then instead of x, first of all, I put negative 4. And negative negative 4, it is 4, minus 2, y equals to 2. In the second one, I put x1, and negative 1 minus 2, it will be y equals to negative 3. So the first solution, negative 4, 2. And the second one, negative 3. Negative 4, 2. And 1, negative 3. The correct answer it is C. Thank you.